Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Keenan Lambert. Right now, we are still in Georgetown, Ghana. I'm gonna try out the nightlife. Let's see what's up. So now string up so you know what else tonight. Select them and play and everybody feel nice. Sweet smoking at the air and everybody alright. Pass me your hot truck and then a cold red stripe. A cup of gold dead soup just forget my mind right. Don't forget the curry goat with the shelly white rice. Who got them looking sharp and the girl them looking tight. Everybody just survives the body now for some fights. Oh! You love the two because I dance all again. Make me see the light because I dance all again. But so black because I dance all again. You know, people actually warned me about going out at night here in Guyana. It's, it's actually the one time where my father was feeling really, really insecure, was worried about me. He's never worried about me, but he's worried about this one. But if you're watching this, it means that I'm okay. I hope. The thing about Guyana here that makes it really, really interesting is, you know, it's kind of like caught in between two different styles of music. You have the dance hall heads, you have the people who like soca, and then there are a few people who like the real Indian sound and stuff, like chutney soca. I'm curious to see what this casual vibe would sound like. I'm gonna follow some basic rules here: don't dance with anybody's girl. That's it. That should be fun. Apparently, pickpocketing and all that is kind of a problem here too. But you know, I'm kind of a big guy, so I got to be being careless for you to steal something from me and be able to get away. If I can grab you, it's a wrap for you. Everyone warns me about Tiger's Bay. Can anybody let me know something about it in the comments? What's up with this Tiger's Bay place? I'm really appreciating this breeze coming off of the uh, Atlantic Ocean here. It's quite nice. Although there's a lack of dancing, everything else is on point. Good food, good drinks, and plenty vibe. Jam it already, we are gonna jam it again. Worries, is botheration with a lot of problems? You know, get it? Jam it already, we are gonna jam it again. Worries, is botheration with enough problems? In the dance all night, and the feeling's right. This is dance. You know, I can't speak for other parts of Georgetown, but Albert Town feels safe. There was a couple sirens and shit that I heard, but it's all right. something interesting. Guyana has some global influences here. You see on this menu right over here, they have birria tacos, right? That's something that we just got in New York in the last two years. So, Guyana coming up. Oh, for those of you who love Tex-Mex food, when you come into GT, you'll enjoy yourself because you're represented. I want you guys to meet my favorite people in GT. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Yeah, what's the name of your spot here? This is Bia Bia Tex-Mex. Yeah, and do you like Tex-Mex food yourself or no? Yes, I do. You do? Okay, with conviction. You guys heard that? <laughs> and and here's the one that's hiding. Uh, no. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay. And what? I'm gonna go exit over. So you're running away. Oh, you have this here now. This is our ground beef enchilada. Ground beef enchilada. Okay. And how much does that run? Three thousand. Three thousand dollars. Okay. Two thousand. So in USD, that's hitting for about ten dollars. Uh, and uh, the next question, tell me about life here in GT. I enjoy it. Well, life in GT is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Right? Mm -hmm. And which side do you live in? I live in East Rampart. East? Okay. And how long does it take to get there from here? 50 minutes. 50 minutes? Okay. Would you say life is expensive out here or no? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh huh. So, <laughs> hell yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hiding from the camera but still talking. Right. Okay. And now let me ask you guys a question now. Okay, uh, when it comes to the most popular and most common food, would you say it's like Indian Guyanese cuisine or is it Chinese Guyanese cuisine? Chicken curry, African Guyanese cuisine, cup of rice, chicken curry. Cook up rice, chicken curry. Yes. Okay, okay. But isn't that Indian food? No. That's no? No. Yeah? Cook up rice is African food. African food, okay, okay. And this little part here is going to cause a war in the comments. Here we go. Talk here, we do they walk the walk. Let's see if their food tastes any good. Yeah, right, let's try this out. You said this is chicken taco, yeah? Yeah, chicken taco. All right, they're regular. Let's see. No, 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 don't, don't lower expectation yet. No, 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 those are the regular ones. The regular ones, yeah. okay. We do the regular ones and the burrito ones. Yeah, you have hot pepper or no? Yes. Yeah, okay. I what? put a little pepper on there. 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> Listen, it tastes better than Mexican food in New York. After this meal and the pregame, we decided to go out for some nightlife action. Video stop darling. And then when you're friends with people, you gotta go drink with them, right? Let's go drink. Getting hammered with your friends is a Guyanese tradition. However, this hookah stuff, it's all new. GT doesn't have ice blue water and white sandy beaches, yeah, but it has plenty of vibe. Here we go. I don't know about you guys, if you give me a nice good pool, some drinks, some vibes, good music, I don't need me beach. Let me know how you feel about that in the comments below. Going to a place that doesn't have a beach. Welcome to Georgetown's National Park. <laughs> Ice cream push cart coming. Gotta get some ice cream. Can't go to a hot place and not have ice cream. Or icy. It's an abomination. Okay, I pull it Alright. Is that a red one yeah? No. Lemon lime sorrel pot. For my Guyanese people watching, how many of you still like cricket? Or, since you've moved to foreign, has your interest fallen off? <laughs> I tell you, my grandfather who just passed away, he actually uh, taught me this game. Um, and that, I want to say, fueled my love for baseball as they are similar, different but similar. I tell you what, as somebody who played baseball in college and who still plays baseball amateurly, I'd say that when it comes to hardness, cricket ain't it. Cricket is not hard. You guys want me to try, don't you? Not going to. British influence and the Indian influence, cricket is the most popular game here in Guyana. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this guy in the series. I'm out for now, but I have the strong sense that I'll be back soon.